I don't know. I don't think my camera's high enough, but we're gonna try to do an EDC bag dump. Uh, this is a Shellback Tactical, I think it's called a low profile attache or something like that. I, there's a review on it on my channel somewhere. It's not my favorite bag in the world, but it happens to be just the right size to drop into a motorcycle pannier. Since I moto commute most days, this is, uh, this is working out well. I've taken the keys off this carabiner. This is a black diamond. This is like a real climbing carabiner, but it's just up there mainly for my keys. This front pocket, let's see what we got. Cell phone. This is some kind of Samsung cell phone. Uh, it's, I don't know what the model is. I'm not a cell phone guy. I'm kind of a neo luddite, but this I think I paid 120 bucks for this just like a year and a half ago. It's not. It's no thrills. Uh, I got my credentials covered up in there. I don't think there's anything else in here. Um, that's that. In the back here. Just this birthday card or something that my wife gave me. I just carried it around back there, so not important. This is uh, not planned out because I wasn't even planning on doing this today, which is why I don't have the right tripod. Um, on this back flap, let's see what we got. Some freeze-dried snacks, uh, strawberry and banana. Some stuff for my beard. A uh, wall wart. Charge the phone, cord to charge the phone, uh, just a little thing of trail mix, uh, some Pedialyte in powder form, in case I got a hydrate, a little mini kind bar, I think that's it in that front flap, that takes care of that. I'm going to try to do this quick, fast, and in a hurry because you know, it's really going to only be for the few people at the everyday carry community who care about such nonsense. Uh, something to read. Fourth turning. Um, this concept's been out for a while. This book was written in the late nine, 1990s. I want to say 96 or 97, but I'm rereading it now because, you know, things are kind of going to hell in a handbasket. My wallet. Never carry this in my pocket. It's always in the bag. Um, besides, this is like basically my EDC bag. I have another bag I carry my lunch in, so there's no water bottle in here, although this, this is my water bottle. This is just a 27 ounce, well actually it's normally this size would be a 27 ounce clean canteen, which I have a lot of, but this is an insulated one, so it's really only 20 ounces. And uh, of course, with my EDC community sticker on there. Hello everybody. Um, some leftover wheat thins favorite cracker. Um, this, there's some like hiking gear in here because I uh, occasionally have long lunches and I wander off into the woods and I fart around. So Baco Laplander, another little mini carabiner. Uh, bank line, just in a bag. One of these little clips was probably on something in my lunch. I'm supposed to give that back to my wife. A little mini can of tuna fish. I know this is in a kind of an eclectic little mix of shit. Uh, little Scandi bushcraft knife. This is a Huta Force OK4. You know, whatever. A uh, little mini, excuse me, mini pick. This was part of a little fatwood stump I ripped off. Not a stump, but the end of a branch. This is the actual fatwood. You guys can't smell it, but it smells delicious. Uh, clothespin, probably again off of something my wife sent me to work with. OD buff, in case I gotta fight the coof or rob a bank. Just kidding, don't rob a bank. I got these, they're, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, noon or something I think, hydration tablets. These things are horrible tasting, but you know, they do the trick. Um, little husky torch screwdriver type thing for working on knives. Um, Leatherman uh, Wingman, I think this is. I like it because it's got scissors and a pocket clip, although it's been years since I've carried this on the daily in a pocket, but it's always close at hand in the bag. Redundant, multi-tool, Swiss Army knife. I don't know what model that is, but it's got scissors and magnifying glass, whatnot. It's, you know, bush, it's kind of bushcrafty. 
Um, even though I have a separate lunch bag, I keep my uh, spoons in here. One, one spork, one straight up spoon. This one, I want to say is Tokes. This one's a uh, Snow Peak. So, whatever. I mostly use this one for everything. Um, this is what the bag looks like. Olight headlamp. I'm not sure of the model name, but it's one of the smaller ones that takes CR123A batteries or whatever the little, uh, what is it, 16340 rechargeables. I forget. They're all in there though. Um, I don't know. I think there might be a charger in here too. Yeah, you can either charge it off the U. Oh no, wait. This, this, I'm not sure. This, I think, goes to a little uh, keychain light that I have. I think. I don't know why it's in there, but this is normally how I would charge that stuff up. A little magnetic charger. Anyway, there's a, there's a primary CR123A Doracell in there, and those are the 16th 340s or whatever they're called. So, I work somewhere where the lights go out once in a while. Uh, signal mirror. This is, um, you know, just a small signal mirror. I want to say it came from County Com a long time ago, but I, I can't really be, remember, to be honest with you. Um, just a little backup knife, a little flipper. It's from Cabela's. So, I don't know. I, it's not the kind of knife I would generally carry, so it's just in the bag. And I want to say that's it as far as those pockets go. Little tiny scissors. Use these for, well, you guys don't want to know. So I have a beard, of course, and a fluffy mustache. And, you know, I sprout hair in weird spots ears, nose, whatever, so it comes in handy. But, I mean, it's for ear, hair, ear, hair, nothing works better than these things. Yank that stuff right out of there, you can do it without even looking. That might be a little too much information for you guys. A uh, little grooming kit, you know, nail clippers, whatnot. What else I got in this little bag? This is all, this is like in the side pouches in here, most of that little stuff. A little vegetable rubber band, whatever. This is, um, I don't remember how much, I think it's 25 feet of cord. I want to say it's the Kevlar stuff. Yeah, and a couple rubber bands, a couple more rubber bands. That's that. Uh, in this big pocket right here, some band-aids, just generic band-aids from Rescue Me. I have a Anchor power bank. I want to say it's called the 26100. There's also another wall wart in the cable in there. Uh, full-size battery charger in here. Another wall wart. You know, this is an X-Tar VC2. Works nice. Digital. It's not the one I use at home, but it fits in the bag. Uh, some latex gloves. Another Band-Aid, which should probably be in there. And that's it. So that's the whole inside of that. Empty. This part in here. Um, just some small, like, bags, shit ton more latex gloves. So that's all that's in that front pocket. And yeah, that's really it. That's what I'm walking around with on a daily basis. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of a cross between, you know, EDC and just some quote-unquote bushcraft stuff. And, you know, this would not be what I would consider like a survival bag or anything like that. It's literally just the stuff I need on a daily basis. And like I said, once in a while I, I go for a little hike at lunchtime, whatever I'm out in the woods. So, yeah. And, of course, I like to read. And that's that. So, yeah. That's my current EDC bag. Thanks for watching.